Oh, nice path. We need to follow the trail to Stonefall. Oh, better music can start playing. Enemy nearby. Oh, there he is. Let's get him. Nice. Are there any more? No, I think the battle music faded away and it doesn't show we're in combat. Nice. Okay. Do you want music like this in your Inner Angel project? You can. This system is on the marketplace. Let me show you how it works. I want to show you three things. First of all, I want to show you how this system works, um, how to set our own music up, and how to set this one up in your project. Let me first talk to you a bit how this works. So first of all, you just heard that it's switching. It's based on a box. And a box is currently a region. And a region is assigned to like a playlist. And we have multiple playlists and a playlist can hold different songs and by different requirements. I made a couple of default playlists for you, uh, like a sci-fi one. So now you're hearing all the music and these are sci-fi music. However, this one has multiple uh, songs in it. So if you play again, so now you hear a different song. However, let's switch to a battle playlist. So this is a more intense music and we have a default one. And it's more uh, ambience and uh, things like that. And it's very slow. So we also have regions set up. So in this case, I have a sci-fi region right here. So now everything in this region will play this music. But if I leave it, then it will switch back to a default one, which I have in this one. And that's currently a default one. Yeah, that will switch more to the this, this specific ambience. So now back. Here. Yeah, this one has more the, the sci-fi yeah, vibe. And another important requirement for this playlist is we can also set time requirements. So basically most of the times you have games like in the morning, you want to have a bit more uh, chill music, but in the night it's a bit darker. So we also included a simple time manager component in which we bind these events on. And if we switch to a different time, then it will switch to different music. So now I'm switching to afternoon music. So that's this one, evening. That's this one, and night. So this is a more uh, dark one. So let me show you how this is set up. As said before, all of this is set up via playlist. And we define this playlist in a data table so you can export and import it real easy. Um, let's check our default one. And the default one is just an array of different music. However, we also have the time-based one. And here we can assign morning, uh, the morning songs, the afternoon songs, the evening ones and the night ones. You can also have multiple array items right in there. And this one obviously is a requirement of is part of day specific. We could also eventually have region requirements. And regions are set up via attack. And if we are in a specific region, then it will automatically search for, okay, what region am I in? And based on that, what kind of playlists are available there and which songs can I play there? So how to set up your own playlist? Well, that's very easy. Just make a new row call it my playlist try to define if it's region specific or not well in this case let's only say um, it's part of day specific and try to assign songs here do we have songs um let's say this one and we could also add multiple array items in here and this one Maybe that one. And as you can see, we can also assign meta sounds, sound waves, cues, things like that, whatever works for you. And if you want to have non-time specific songs, you can add that right here. So now how to set this up in your project? Well, everything 
uh, is set up in your player controller component. If you have the project right here, we can see, okay, what is your player controller class? You can open that one up. And this one will have the active component background music system. And the most important setting on this component is here on the right. What is our current default playlist play? That's this one and which one for the battle. And that's that one. And if you want to have a different song, then you can just select your own different playlist. Currently, it's good to know if you migrate this to, uh, if you want to create this project, it's always a, a full project. Why? Because it has some settings in the project settings and um, uh, currently some uh, common UI examples, some interaction examples, things like that. But it's not per se needed for your own project. As long as you migrate this background music system component to your uh, own system, set this component on your player controller, then you are good to go. You can assign your playlist and in the world itself, you could add boxes like this, which is overriding which playlist to play. And in this specific example map, we also created a battle area. So we have that right here. And this one is simply on uh, overlap. It's going to say, hey, uh, play the uh, battle music playlist. However, that's not how you want to implement it. That's why I showed you this, how you could implement it if you are more using like an attribute manager with state effects and say, hey, are you currently in combat? Yes or no. So that's why I provided this example. Let's say you have our attribute manager. Then you could say in the attribute manager, um, you are currently in combat. And when you are in combat, then it plays battle music. However, when you are not in combat, then it removes the battle music. Again, you don't need this. I just provide this here as an example. So if you think, hey, I don't want to have your attribute manager, it's perfectly fine. Uh, just implement it the way you like it. I just want to show you that in our background music system component, I am getting our attribute manager. Uh, this is, by the way, only an interface. We're going to say, hey, are we uh, currently in combat? Yes or no. If we are in combat, play the playlist for battle. And if not, just play the existing uh, playlist. If you have your own combat system, your own attribute manager, just make a link here and say, hey, get your attribute manager, get your combat system. Are you in combat? Yes or no. And if so, uh, switch based on if you are in that state and then it should work perfectly fine. However, if you don't want that, you can just delete it, it's fine. Or just keep it just in case it will have no overhead. It's good to know in this system, in our game state, I've assigned a, uh, a time component. You don't need it. This is only for uh, showcasing functionalities like this. It's quite an advanced system actually. Uh, you just get that here for free. Um, and you can use that to make sure to switch time. Um, I just added here as an example, if you don't want time-based music, just remove it, don't implement it, it's fine. I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'm here for you and I hope you have a great day. Bye. Congrats, you have reached the end of this video. And of course, uh, always feel free to reach out. For instance, in the comments below, via Discord or mail. And don't forget to check out our website and Discord. I'm happy to talk to you there. Have a nice day. Bye.